Okay, we're sitting here working on the three-wheeler snapper, and what I've done is, let me see which one was, one of these, okay, I just cut this one off, the back end of that, and I cut this off of another, and I gotta do some grinding, some beating down on some nuts, and the reason I had to change is because I gotta put this rear end in this one on that, instead of that one, because that ain't got no brakes and it's messed up, and that one ain't. Okay, I got it set on there, and what I did was, there's a hole here, it's not quite lined up, I'm going to have to realign it. After I got it lined up, it kind of moved on me. Take my hammer and knock it around, and try to get this where it's level all the way around, and I'll just bead that, sides in the back, and then I'm going to drill a couple holes right here, so that holds it on, and then I'll put that rear end back on it right there. And then build extensions out like I did this. See how the extensions? I'll build them out on that and then I can put the motor on here. More to come. Well, I've got quite a bit welded on it. Uh, I welded all down this side. That's hot, that's fresh. That's some pretty welds right there. And that's crappy because I had to readjust my welder. But I went all the way down it on the other side and I started going down here when. Right in there, welder ran out of wire. But that will work. And there's my helmet. One of the Chicago welding auto darkenings. And of course, Harbor Freight Chicago Weld. It's an Easy MIG 100. Works real good. I got it set at about six and a half on maximum. And it throws some pretty welds like that. Well, I'm gonna do a little bit of grinding and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go get a new roll later tonight. I can go right down the store and get it right now, but that's one that came with it from the factory. But I'll just wait and go get one when I go out to eat. And then uh, start getting this going more. I'm gonna go ahead and upload this video tonight so y'all can see it. I am getting work done on it. Next one. Taking these hubs off, getting some ends welded on like that, and then I'll be able to put this rear end on and get the motor on it, and we'll see how she rides, and I'm looking forward to it, thanks.